Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way. And we're going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, These are five reasons why you should not date a broke man. Right, ladies? So these are my top five reasons why you should not date a man that ain't got no money. You should not date a broke man. You should not date a man that is afraid of spending money, right? A cheap man, a man who is not a provider. You should not even be dating, talking to, engaging in conversation with a broke guy a guy especially if he got less than you especially a man that ain't got himself together right first of all a man should not even be dating if he is a broke man if this man has nothing to offer nothing to bring to the table nothing to bring and contribute to then you should not be dating him. You need to leave these broke guys alone. I be hearing and seeing too many women dating broke men and then want to complain that they broke. You know what I'm saying? And then want to complain that, you know, they're unhappy. It's so many women that's dating broke men that are unhappy. And a lot of times the relationship won't even last as long as it should because of financial reasons one of the main one of the main reasons why divorces and marriages happen one of the one of the number one reasons why marriages end in divorce why people break up after so long why people get married and then get a divorce one of the main causes of divorce is financial reasons Financial reasons. It's not just infidelity. I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, Sid, I thought infidelity is probably one of the number one reasons. It's up there, right? It is up there. Infidelity, cheating, stuff like that does bring on, you know, divorce, right? But 
a lot of times financial reasons, if y'all can't eat, you know, of course, it's going to be some conflict, right? And you as a woman, you will be very, very unhappy and your life will be hard when it comes to dating a broke man, right? And now let's talk about broke because you may ask me, Sid, but what is broke though? You know, what does broke look like? What does a man who is a broke man, what does he look like? A man with no car, he need to get a car. He need to get a car, a vehicle in his name. If he ain't got no car, don't talk to him, okay? Then he needs his own place to stay. He needs to have some place to stay. Either an apartment or he need to have a house, a condo, something in his name with the name, his name on the lease, right? In his name, right? some place of shelter. So if he ain't got that, if he ain't got no shelter, if this man staying with his mama, if this man staying with a friend, got a got a roommate and he 30 years old, 40, 50 years old, 60 years old and he got a roommate, one of his homeboys, no. He need his own spot. So do not talk to him. If this man stay with his grandmama, stay with his auntie, stay with his cousins, stay with his sister, stay with whoever, you know, if he's not financially stable on his own, if he ain't got his own spot in his name where he paying bills at, then do not date him because he ain't got his stuff together. He still stay with his mama. How he going to take care of you? And he can't even take care of himself. His mama take care of him. So what's going to happen when you get with this guy? When you get with this guy, guess what? You're going to take the place of his mama, right? So do not date no man that ain't got his own spot. And then a man that's broke. Of course, broke mean money, right? So he ain't got no money. You need a man that got a job, either a nine to five or he got a business he formed a company, he's working in his business, working in his career, he got legal income coming in, right? Legal income, not nothing that's going to get him in trouble, not nothing going to get him jammed up somewhere, no. He need to have legal income and he need to have enough of it to support himself and have a little bit extra to do something to be able to take care of you, you know, let you have a good time, you know, make you happy, show you, show you a good time, you know what I'm saying? So he got to have all three. If a man does not have his own car, his own place to stay, and money in his pocket, a job or a business that's actually profitable, making money, do not talk to him. And I'm going to explain because he don't even have his three basic things together. He don't even have no money in his pocket, no transportation, no place to even lay his head in. You know, he can't even support himself. He can't even survive on his own. So how are you going to you know, get with this guy, clearly he got bad survival skills. If this man ain't got no car and he 35 years old, he had 35 years to get a car. This man, 40 years old, 50, he don't got no car. He ain't got no place to stay. He's staying with somebody. And this man, 40 years old, still staying with whoever. You know, no, nah, he need his own stuff. He too grown for that. A lot of these men is way too old, even in his 20s. I get it, maybe in your super early 20s, 21, 22, you still trying to get your stuff together. But after a man turn about like 25 and on, he needs to for sure, for sure be having his own everything. By that time, you need to be somewhere getting your stuff together, having, you know, a car, a, a job, a place to stay. You know, he need to be, you know, a little established, right? Or, you know, having some money coming in. And stuff like that. But if this man is a grown man and he ain't got his three basics, a car, a job, and a place to stay in his name, then do not date him because it's going to be so many problems. And I'm about to explain. It's going to be so many problems. You're going to have to go through as a woman and you're going to have to put up with and deal with and you're going to be very, very unhappy. You might just leave this man. You might just leave this man. 
hanging and be with somebody else. You might cheat on this man. You know, sometimes, you know, if you're not financially provided for, you know, I'm not saying it's right, but some women feel like, hey, I'm not getting my needs met over time. And you get fed up. You start looking for another provider. You start looking for another man to take care of you because clearly this guy, he can't do nothing for you, right? So we're going to jump right into it. And ladies, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five reasons why you as a woman, you should not be dating no broke man that ain't got his stuff together. If he ain't got his stuff together, if he in between, you know, paycheck to paycheck, penny pinching, you know, coupon clipping, you know, I ain't really got it. My pocket's empty. My pocket's got lint in them. I ain't got it. Baby, can you spot me? I ain't, baby, I ain't got it, baby. You know, stuff like that. Then guess what? This is going to happen, okay? So number one. The first reason why you as a woman, you should never, ever, 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 ever date a broke man that ain't got no money, ain't got nothing to his name, just broke and sad <laughs> is obviously this man can't do nothing for you. So this man can't do nothing for you, meaning it's going to be a very, very, very boring relationship. Y'all relationship, y'all marriage going to be boring. All y'all going to be able to do is sit in the house all day and look at each other and maybe have sex, kick it, whatever, but y'all can't do nothing else. Y'all relationship going to be in the house, talking on the phone, you know, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Watching TV all day because nobody got no money. You know, maybe you got some money. Maybe you as a woman, you got some money, but this man ain't got no money. So guess what? He can't take you out on no date. You want a man to take you out? He ain't got no money to take you out. He always got you in the house. He don't never take you out nowhere. A lot of y'all women, you say, you know, dang, you know, I want a man to take me out on a date, but the guy that you dating, he don't want to take you out. Because a lot of these men can't take you out because they broke. They ain't got no money. They don't want to invest, spend money. They just want you to come over and or they want to go over your house, have sex with you and get all the benefits of you for free. But they don't want to invest or they can't invest. So ain't going to be no dates. Ain't going to be no trips. Ain't going to be no gifts. Ain't going to be no nothing. Valentine's Day come around. This man, uh, I can't do nothing. You know, he going to get you some cheap little stuff, you know, whatever. Hey, I tried, baby. You know, or for your birthday. You know, for his birthday, you go all out for his birthday. You buy him, you know, shoes and clothes and games and stuff like that. You buy him all types of stuff, you know. You know, you buy him the video games and you buy him the this and the that. You know, you you invest into his birthday. But when it comes to your birthday, he can't do nothing for you. He can't never treat you. He can't never do nothing for you. Nothing fun. You know, relationships are supposed to be fun. And guess what? Majority of the fun that you have, you're going to have to spend some money. You know, of course... You can have fun without money. I'm not saying you can't have fun without money, but let's be real. Every time you step out that door, you're going to spend some money, right? You're spending something. When you go in your car and start your car up, you spending money. That's money spent. Gas, you know? Anywhere, anywhere, anything that you do, you go get some food, you go somewhere, anywhere you go, you know, you're going to be spending some money. If this man ain't got no money, Y'all can't go out nowhere. Y'all can't do nothing fun. Y'all can't go on no dates. Y'all can't go on no trips. Y'all can't travel nowhere. It's going to be very, very boring sitting in the house all day looking at each other because he ain't got no money to take you nowhere or he can't do nothing for you. You want your hair done. You want your nails done. You want, you know, a lavish lifestyle. You know, you want a nice, soft life. You want to be able, you know, a lot of women, you may say, I don't want to work. I want my man to pay all the bills. I feel like a man should pay all the bills or at least majority of the bills. I don't want to have too much worry about bills, right? 
But guess what? This man can't even do nothing for you. He ain't going to be able to pay, you know, on nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't going to be able to do nothing for you. So you're going to be very unhappy. You're going to be very upset dealing with this man. And it's a boring relationship sitting in the house all day. Who want to sit in the house all day? Who want to just lay up all day? You know what I'm saying? He got all the time in the world because he ain't got no job. He got all the time in the world because he ain't got nothing else to do but lay up with you all day. He ain't got nothing else to do. A lot of the broke guys, the reason why they so good at, you know, the mouthpiece, they know how to, you know, charm you and talk you, you know, sweet talk you, you know what I'm saying? They might even have really good sex, you know? A lot of women say, you know, a lot of the broke guys, a lot of the guys with no money, they may have really good sex. But the reason why is because that's all they got. They ain't got nothing else to offer you. I can't take you out. I can't take you on no trips. I can't give you no gifts. The only thing I got is what's down there. So that's all I have to offer you. You know what I'm saying? So all he can't offer you is sex. So you as a woman, you know, that's cool and all, and that's fine and all, but sex ain't going to pay no bills. Sex ain't going to get your nails done, your hair done. Sex ain't even going to buy you no plate of food. Ain't going to get you nothing nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So, so if you want a boring relationship, if you want a sad relationship where y'all just sitting there, just, you know, looking at each other, Y'all can't go outside, do nothing. Y'all got to go for walks in the park and stuff in the hot heat. You know, y'all got to y'all got to do free stuff, you know, or real cheap stuff. He got to take you to, you know, the little drive through, you know, McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? He got to take you through the drive through Wendy's. You know, you got to go get some Popeyes. You got to go get some, you know, whatever, Chick-fil-A. He can't take you nowhere. He got to take you to Chick-fil-A. That's the best. That's the best he can do. You know, he can't take you to no restaurants. You want to be wined and dined. You know, you look so good. You see how good you look. You see the type of quality that you are. You don't deserve to just be going to Chick-fil-A. I know you go to Chick-fil-A for yourself, but a man taking you out on a date, you know, he that's all he can afford, you know, and stuff like that. You get Chick-fil-A on your way to work. You know, you get Chick-fil-A by yourself, right? This man need to be able to provide something, you know, provide you, provide you with an experience. It's no experience. It's no nothing. You know, a lot of really fun relationships, a lot of them last long because it's fun. You know, y'all enjoying each other's company. Y'all going out the country. It's always something exciting. You know, what's our next trip? What's our next trip? When when we going to Jamaica? When we going to, you know, Spain? When we going to Italy? When we going to Cancun? You know, when we going to Africa? You know, when we going to Brazil? Where we going to Australia? When we going to, you know, wherever y'all travel at, you know, you just traveling all over the world, London, France, wherever y'all go all over the world, right? Y'all just going everywhere. It's fun. It's entertaining, you know? Y'all get to go on different, you know, experiences, different adventures, right? It's fun, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get to go on dates around the city. This man spends some money on you, treat you to a nice restaurant, rooftop date, candlelight, you know what I'm saying, good ambiance, good music, you know, or he take you somewhere fun, y'all have fun, you know, play games, whatever, horseback riding, go-kart, whatever, I don't know, something, something fun, right, y'all do something, but if you ain't got a man that, but if you got a man that ain't got no money, then y'all gonna be in the house. That's all y'all gonna be at, in the house. And probably at your house, cause he ain't got no house, right? He ain't got no apartment. So probably gonna be at your house, staring at you, you know, and stuff like that. And that rolls us right into number two. So number two, the second reason why you as a woman, you should never, ever, ever date a broke man that ain't got no money, ain't got his finances, ain't got no resources is he will use you for everything you got. So this man gonna use you. If this man ain't got no money, 
Guess who pockets he gonna be in? Yours. Since this man can't take you out, since this man can't take you on no trips, since this man can't buy you no gifts, guess who it rolls back on? You. Because a lot of women, unfortunately, you get caught in this position where you feel sorry for this guy. You're dating this broke guy. That's why I tell you don't be dating no broke guys. But you didn't listen, and you dating a broke guy, and now you wondering, wow, this man really ain't got no money. This man can't take me out, can't do nothing for me. I'm bored out my mind. I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? And this man can't do nothing for me. This man all up in your house. You know, he all up in your house, laying on your couch. You know, with his feet up, playing his video game, you know, smoking and drinking, and wa or watching TV, eating up all your food in your fridge. He ain't bought no groceries, not near, not one grocery in the house. You know, not near, not one grocery, right? He ain't bought nothing. He ain't do nothing, contribute nothing. He just taking up space. Using up your Wi-Fi, he just using up all the air. You know what I'm saying? Taking up space. And you're going to have this broke man in your house. And basically, he another dependent. Basically, he's a liability and not an asset. You want a man that is an asset in your life. A man that brings something to the table. A man that can do something for you. If that man can't do nothing for you, if all he do is take, 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 take from you, but he don't never give back to you, all he do is take, 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 take. All this man do is take. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But this man don't never, ever give, but this man don't never, ever, ever give back. He don't never say, here you go. Here you go. Here's something. Let me do something for you. Let me contribute. Let me make you happy. Nothing. It's always about me, 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 what you can do for me, right? So you got this grown man in your house, not paying no bills, not doing nothing, or he's sleeping, or he's sleeping at your house a lot of nights out the week. He ain't got no place to stay, or he stay with his mama, so he want to be in your house all day, all night, you know, stuff like that. You... He ain't even got no place for you to come home to. You know, you got to go to his mama house. You got to go, you know, with his roommate. You know what I'm saying? His roommate open the door or, you know, his cousin's auntie, uncle open the door. His grandma open the door. You know, so you don't have no privacy with this man because he stay with somebody because he ain't got his own stuff together, right? So guess who house he gonna be laying in? Yours. Using you, cause he ain't got no house. This man might not even like you, right? Keep in mind, a lot of guys be using women for a come up. A lot of the guys be using women for elevation in survival. Meaning, I ain't, I'm a man, right? Meaning, I'm a man, right? I ain't got nothing to my name. I ain't got no car. I ain't got no job. I ain't got no money. I ain't got nothing, right? I ain't got no place to stay, right? So I'm going to stay with this woman. Even though I stay with my mama or whatever, or I stay with whoever, I'm going to move in with this woman, and that will at least get me out my mama house. Now I can live off of this woman, right? I don't even like her. I don't even find this woman attractive. I really don't even want to be. I can't even really see myself with this woman. However, I'ma trick her and I'ma manipulate her. I'ma act like I like her. Yeah, I'ma charm her. I'ma make it seem like we together. I'ma make it seem like I really like her and I'm really interested and you know stuff like that. I'ma you know seduce her to like me. Now, you know, and then, and then again, like I said, this man, he ain't got nothing else to offer you but good sex. He ain't got nothing else, so he got to work with what he got. That's all he got, so he know, okay, I can, I can give her some good sex. I can, you know, talk to her, give her my time, because he ain't got nothing else to do with his time but talk to you. So he good with his mouthpiece. He good with the sex. So he gonna reel you in, right? So now you get caught up in this man. You start to really like him, start to feel him. You start letting down your guard. This man say, hey, let me stay with you. You know, first and start off him just staying over your house a couple of nights, you know, here and there, maybe a weekend or so, he'll stay at your house. Then he starts staying a whole week, Monday through Friday. 
Then he stay, you know, the whole, then he starts staying more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? And then he start leaving stuff over your house. That's how you know a man trying to move in. He trying to slowly move in. A lot of guys, you got to pay attention, ladies. If this man start leaving his stuff at your house, then guess what? He trying to ease his way to move in your house. That's what he trying to show you without really telling you like, hey, you know, he marking his territory. So you got to be careful because a lot of guys, they ain't got no place to stay. They stay with their mama. They stay with their cousin, their auntie. They stay with their grandma. They got a roommate, something, right? They don't have their own spot. So they want to use you to get they own spot with you so you can take care of them and they can come up off of you so you gotta be very careful when it comes to dating men that ain't got nothing to their name this man will use you for everything you got he don't even like you he just using you to get out of his mama house he just using you to elevate his survival he don't like you he don't even want to be with you. What he like is that apartment you got. What he like is that big old house you got. What he like is the fact that he can charm you and he can just seduce you into letting him move in. And then he said, I got her. Yes, I marked my territory. So that's all this man want to do is start leaving stuff at your house to mark his territory so that eventually I'm going to move in, you know. I'm going to start leaving, you know, some clothes over here. I'm going to start leaving the video game, the PlayStation over here. You know, I'm going to start leaving my brush, my hair brush over here or comb, whatever over here. I'm going to start leaving little things, you know, my, my watch. I left my watch over your house. I left, you know, whatever. He just start leaving clothes, leaving his toothbrush, leaving his deodorant, leaving stuff, his body wash over your house, leaving little stuff over your house. You like, wait a minute. This man leaving all this stuff in my house? Yeah, because he trying to move in because he ain't got his own spot. And he don't even like you. He just using you for a place of shelter. And then if he ain't got no car, he ain't got no wheels, vroom, vroom. He ain't got nothing. He walking. He ain't got four wheels, but he got two heels, right? He walking. He walking everywhere. He got two heels, but he ain't got four wheels, right? He ain't got a car, but he got, he can walk though. So he walking, catching the bus everywhere, catching the train everywhere, catching, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ubering everywhere. This man ain't got no car, you know? Now I know depending on where you at, you know, especially like maybe you live in New York, right? Let's say you live in New York. I get it. You know, a lot of people in New York, may or may not have a car because the transportation system, whatever, you know. But everywhere else, you know, and even in, you know, New York, maybe still get a man that, you know, at least got a car. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I get it, whatever, with New York. But, and, you know, places like that, you know what I'm saying, where it's, like, really good transportation. But everywhere else, get you a car. You know what I'm saying? This man need to get a car. If he ain't got no car then guess what? He gonna be riding around in your car all day. Not putting no gas in your car. Not putting nothing, not fixing it up. No maintenance on your car, but he wanna ride around in it. Pick up all his homeboys in it. Smoke and drink all in your car. Sw swerve and, and drive it all fast and stuff like that. Your car got the big furry steering wheel. You got the big pink furry steering wheel on your Nissan Altima. And he driving your Nissan Altima like it's a NASCAR, right? He want to drive your, you know, your Toyota Camry in like a nascar type of form and that's not cool you know what i'm saying so this man using you for a car because he ain't got no car so he said hey if i could get with this girl keep in mind he might not even like you might not even find you attractive but you got a nice car you might got a real nice car you might have a bmw you might have a mercedes you might have a range rover you might have something nice this man really gonna be like whoa and don't let you have no Camaro, no Charger, Challenger, or a Mustang. He really gonna be like, oh, 
I got to get with this woman. I don't really like her like that, but I like that car. If I get with her, I could drive that car around and look fresh and fly, you know? And a lot of times, he going to look fresh and fly in your car in front of other women, and it's not even his car, right? So he going to be using you for your car, riding around in your car, using up all the gas, stuff like that. And bringing the car back to you. He gonna be picking you up and dropping you off at your job and while you at work in your car. You know, this man got your car. He dropped you off at work in your car and pick you up in your car and go ride around all day. You know, because he ain't got nothing. So, to keep a man from being in your stuff, then you gotta make sure he got his own, right? And then, if this man ain't got no money, if he ain't got no place... If he ain't got no job or no business, then he gonna be asking you for money. Baby, can you pay for this? Baby, can you do this for me? Baby, I need a haircut. Baby, I need the new video game that came out. Baby, I need the new Jordans that came out. Baby, can you do this for me? Can you take me out here? Can you take me here? Can you do this for me? Can you drop me off here? Can you spend this on me? Can you pay for this? I'm a little late on this. Can you do this? Can you do that? You know, this man always begging. You know, he always going to be begging you, baby. Baby, can you do this? And guess what? You keep giving him money, giving him money, giving him money. All he doing is taking the money. He ain't even worked for the money. He ain't even did nothing for the money but seduce you and trick you into giving you all the money. And once this man got enough money off of you, once this man, you know, used you for the time being until he can get up on his feet, the day that man get up on his feet, he going to leave you high and dry. As soon as this man get on his feet, you're history, you're toast, you're done for, you out of there. You know, he going to kick you to the curb so fast, he going to just be done with you. Why? Because I was just using you. I don't like you, but I'm broke and I'm needy and I'm desperate and I got to survive. I need to eat. I need somewhere to lay my head. I need to get around in the car. I need some money in my pocket. And what's the easiest way to get all of that? For a man, one of the easiest ways to get, to get a car, money, shelter, all of that in one, and get sex on top of that every night is find a woman. If I find a woman, I can have sex every night. I can be in her house, I can use her car, and I can have her pay for everything. So that's the easiest way how to just come up and I don't got to get a job, right? I don't got to work hard, I ain't got to do nothing. All I got to do is find some girl that got a lot of stuff going on, got a lot of money, or is at least established in her life, and I can just use her, right? So that's number two. He going to use you. He don't even like you, but he like what you got, your money. Your house, your apartment, your car, and your booty. That's all he want. That's all he want, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third thing, the third reason why you as a woman, why you should never date a broke man that ain't got no money or a cheap man that cannot spend or he's afraid of spending money is he will have many, many insecurities. So, when you date a broke man, he gonna have so much insecurities and he gonna be jealous of you. This man gonna be jealous of you and he gonna be in competition with you, right? This man, he got mental health issues now. Why? Because his masculinity is at a threat, right? His masculinity is under attack. Because his ego and his pride will not allow a woman to do better than him, right? Even though, you know, some men, they take advantage of women that, you know, got money and stuff like that. They use women. But other men, even though he with you and he using you for to come up on off of whatever he trying to get. You know, he using you for survival. But this man still might be jealous of you. Meaning, he know he don't deserve you. He know that naturally, biologically, his animalistic, 
his masculine instinct as a human adult being is to want to provide. As a man, you want to provide, you want to do for, you know, you want to do for your significant other, right? You want to do for your woman, right? You want to provide, take care of your woman. This man know what he's supposed to be doing, so he feel guilty because he not. And he like, dang, my girl got more money than me. Dang, my girl got all this stuff. She got a car, she got a job, she got this, she got money. I ain't got none of that stuff. And that's the reason why he jealous. And, you know, even though he using you for what you got, he's still jealous and still greedy because he's like, I need to have that. I'm mad that a woman was able to do more than I am, that I did. I'm a man, right? I'm supposed to be the top dog. I'm supposed to be the one established taking care of her, and she taking care of me. So a lot of times, over time, even though he's benefiting, it still makes him feel like he's less of a man because he know he can't take you out. He know he can't do nothing for you. He know that he do not deserve you. A lot of the broke guys that ain't got no money, they will even tell you, you don't deserve me. You deserve so much better than me. You don't deserve me. You, you, you can do so much better than me. I don't even know why you with me. You know, or they afraid of you leaving them. They like, hey, you know, I know you're talking to other men. I know. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. You know, I he because he just afraid. He's scared that another man will take his spot. He know he broke and he ain't got nothing to offer you. So he know easily a guy can walk up on you with a little bit of something more than him and take you away. Because he ain't got nothing, you know? So he know that his spot is not solidified. He know his spot is temporary. So this when a lot of his insecurities come out or his toxic behavior comes out. So this man, he broke. So he got to get control somehow. He ain't got no leverage, right? This man say, I ain't got no leverage. This woman can walk out my life because who am I? I'm not providing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. It's easy for a woman to just leave me. So I got to make her believe that she need me more than I need her. So how do I do that? I got to, you know, crush her self-esteem. Even though she real successful, she got a lot of money, she got a nice car, she got a nice body, she pretty in the face, she look good. I got to crush her self-esteem. I got to belittle her. I have to put her down so I can come up and I can destroy her self-esteem, destroy her ego. So now she feel like she don't deserve me, you know? And now I can take advantage of her. So this man, he might put you down, put down your goals and dreams. He might tell you that you're not attractive. He might tell you that you're getting big or you're gaining weight. You know, he might tell you that you'll never make it. Your dreams will never come true. He might start putting hands on you. This man might start putting hands on you, cursing you out, calling you out your name being very violent, right? Very physical, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So that's where all that come from because he don't feel like a man. So he say, I don't feel like a man. This woman is outperforming me, right? So he in competition with you. He said, this woman doing better than me, I'm a man. If a woman wins in a game of basketball, right? If a woman wins a game of basketball against a man, everybody going to say, hey, a girl won. Hey, you got destroyed by a girl. A girl, this girl was better than you. You know, this girl did more than you. Stuff like that. So it's already going to hit his ego his masculinity because he feel like men should be better than women taller stronger better make more money a man should be on top and this woman's outperforming me oh no so he don't feel like a man so he gotta you know put hands on you he gotta curse you out he gotta take you and destroy your self-esteem make you feel so insecure about yourself because he really feel insecure, but he don't feel like a man. So he got to make you feel insecure so you don't never go nowhere. So it's a lot of this toxic behavior back and forth. 
he just going to be accusing you of cheating on him because he know he don't deserve you. He know another man can take his spot because he ain't got no money. So a lot of his mental health issues and a lot of his, you know, and a lot of his insecurities, immaturity, and all them issues, the toxic behaviors, and stuff like that, that is going to come out when you date a broke man. Because he jealous and he envious and you intimidate him. A lot of you women, you intimidate broke guys because you are a successful woman. If you're a successful woman, this man, he know I can't do nothing for you that you can't do for yourself. I can't do nothing for you. I don't even deserve you. You really out my league. But I still want you, I still want to have sex with you, or I still, you know, want to use you, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to necessarily be with you, but I do want your booty and your resources, but I'm jealous the fact that I ain't got nothing. So I'm going to use you, but I'm still jealous. So I'm still in competition comparing myself to you. So he'll always take his anger and his frustration and his resentment and his jealousy out on you because he's intimidated the fact that a woman is doing better in life than him as a man. And he just can't take it. You know, he can't take it. If a woman wins a game of anything against a man, it's like, ha ha, you know, a girl Ha ha, you know, a girl won over you. Ha ha, you know, stuff like that. So that's how he feels. So his masculinity, his pride, his ego, he's going to try to overcompensate. You know, he going to try to get so mad and so angry and really try to show off his masculinity and try to scare you into, you know, respecting him. Because he know that you don't respect him as a man. He know you don't respect him. He know that you don't look at him like that. So he know that his chance is limited. He know you might cheat on him. It's easy for a woman to cheat on a man and her needs are not met. If a woman is going through it financially and this man that she with can't do nothing for her or this man that she with is broke and don't have nothing, a lot of women, I'm not saying this right again, it's not right, but... A lot of women will leave the man that they're with or will, you know, cheat on him with another guy that can actually provide or another guy that can at least provide a good time, you know, something fun instead of being in the house all day or something where that can help her out. You know what I'm saying? A real provider. So a lot of women might cheat. So he know, hey, you know, I ain't got my stuff together, but other guys do. So I'm afraid, right? So that's number three, right? That's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why you should never, ever, ever date a broke man is you will never fully respect him. So like I was just saying, you ain't never going to respect a man fully by him being broke. Why would you lead? Why would you allow a man to lead you and guide you if clearly his survival skills ain't up to par? Clearly this man, his survival skills ain't all that. Clearly he ain't got nothing to his name. He not a good leader, a good survivor. You know what I'm saying? So you have been doing good all this time. You know how to survive. You got your stuff together, right? So you will start looking down on him. So not only does a man get jealous of you because you're doing better than him, so he feel like he down here and you up here, right? He feel like, dang, I'm less of a man. He feel like, wow, I'm less of a man because I ain't got no money. My woman, she got money, so I'm jealous. So, you know, I know that I can't do nothing for her, so he feel less of a man. But a lot of times you as a woman, you will look down on him also like he less of a man. Just naturally, you look down on him too and might even start treating him the same way. You know, if this man not bringing nothing to the table, this man can't pay for nothing, this man can't get your hair and nails done, this man can't pay no bills, can't take you out, can't do nothing, then you gonna feel like, ugh. 
then a lot of times you're going to feel like, why am I even with you? You're worthless. You can't do nothing for me. You're worthless. Why are you even here? you just taking up space. You know, a lot of women, you might start talking crazy to him. You know, get your broke self on. You might tell this man, you know, that's why you broke and you ain't got nothing. That's why you stay with your mama. You know, you ain't never going to be nothing. You know, you need to get a job. You know, you need to do this. You so, you so lazy. You so broke. You this, you that. You know, so you start talking crazy to this man, calling him just all types of names and stuff like that. But you the one with him. So you complaining about this broke man, but you with the broke man, you know, you know what I'm saying? You sitting over here complaining about him, but you with him. So just leave him alone. Don't even talk to him. Right. But in the relationship, it will still do a lot of damage because he already feel like he less of a man. And the fact that uh, some women, the fact that you got a lot of money, you got a nice car, you got stuff going on, you might start looking down on this man like, why am I doing all this? I'm the only one providing. I'm the only one doing everything. So now you start resenting that man. You start resenting him because you feel like he not bringing nothing to the table. You know, he coming to my table eating for free. And I brought the everything. I cooked the food. I set up the table. I put the tablecloth on. You know, I got all the chairs at the table. All he did was pull up with an appetite. You know, that's kind of like somebody pulling up to the barbecue. You know how they got the cookout outside at the park. You know, you got the cookout at the park, the barbecue outside. But then you got that one family member that show up. And they ain't bring nothing. They ain't brought no food. They ain't brought nothing. But they want to pull up, get them a, a plate, and put some aluminum foil over the plate. And then they leave. You know, they pull up to the potluck. They pull up to the cookout. They pull up to the barbecue. And they show up, grab a plate, and they leave. Right? So that's the same thing this man did. He showed up to your barbecue and grabbed the plate and left. He showed up in your life, took everything from you, benefited, and left. And you got nothing in return. He didn't bring nothing to the table. When you are in a relationship, it's like a potluck, right? It's like a barbecue, like a cookout. I bring something, you bring something, and now we got a whole meal, a whole feast, right? But if I'm the only one bringing everything, doing all the work, and you just eating, that's not fair to me. So you as a woman, you're going to start feeling like that's not fair to me paying all these bills and you can't do nothing. That's not fair to me to be, you know, I can't go on no dates, no trips, no nothing. I got to stunt my growth because you can't contribute. You know, I got to financially stunt my growth. Look at how much further you will be with your income and a man's income. How much further would you be? in life, you know, but nah, all you got is your income because he ain't got no income. So it all depends on you. So if you fall, he can't come get you and pick you up. He can't contribute. If something happens to your job, something happens to your business, something happened, he can't do nothing for you. You know, something happened to you, you know, you get pregnant, you can't work, whatever. What y'all gonna do? He can't do nothing for you because he ain't even got no job, no car, no nothing right? He can't do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's real sad. It's very sad, right? So that's number four. So you will start looking down on him. You will start judging him. You'll start talking to him crazy anyways. And of course, he gonna sit there and take it because he ain't got no place to stay. So, or he ain't got no money. So he not gonna say too much of nothing, but his feelings gonna be real hurt because he know he don't deserve you. And you're just throwing it back in his face that he broke and he don't deserve you. But either way it go, you just need to leave. It's just going to cause more riffraff in the relationship because because he know he don't deserve you and you telling him that you know you can do better. You know you can do better and he know that he don't deserve you. So you don't even need to be talking to him anyway, right? So that's number four. So number five. The fifth and last and final reason why you as a woman, you should never, ever, ever date a broke man, never date no broke guy, is you will struggle together 
right? Y'all always will be struggling. You don't want to be that struggle couple. You want to be a power couple. You don't want to be no struggling couple. Y'all penny pinching, coupon clipping. I can't eat. I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? We got a, you know, budget and we got a, you know, stuff like you don't want a budget. You want to be able to spend money, buy whatever you want to buy, do whatever you want to do, go wherever you want to go. You don't want no restrictions on life. A lot of the restrictions on life and things you want to do cost money. You want to go out the country. You want to go on trips and dates and get gifts and stuff. That costs money, right? And without that, you're going to be struggling. So guess what? The bills is due every month. The bills don't stop. They do every month. This man ain't got no money. So you struggling. We living off of one income now. One income. You the only one that's carrying everything, right? So now you're going to be struggling because now you got to feed yourself and feed a grown man that can't even feed himself. Struggling. Your lights going to get cut off. Your, your car going to get repoed. You're going to get an eviction letter on your door. You know, you're going to get your phone bill. Your phone going to get cut off. AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, they going to cut your phone off. You know, stuff like that. So, guess what? You ain't going to be able to eat. You're going to be eating noodles every day. Do you want to eat noodles and bread every day? No. You want to eat steak and lobster. You want to eat crab legs. You want to eat something nice. You know what I'm saying? Quality food, right? You don't want to eat no McDonald's. You don't want to eat no Burger King. You don't want to eat no Wendy's. You don't want that stuff. You want something real fulfilling, right? You don't want to live in the hood. You want to live in the nice, you, you want to live in a nice neighborhood. You know, you don't want to live in the trenches. You don't want to live in the hood. You want to live in the nice neighborhood, right? You know what I'm saying? You want to live good. You don't want a little bitty apartment. You want a nice house. You don't want, you know... You don't want a Honda. You want a Bentley. You don't want, you know, you don't want a Honda. You know, you want a Rolls Royce. You want a Mercedes. You know, you don't want no Toyota Camry forever. You want to upgrade in life. You want the lavish luxury things in life. You don't want to have to struggle. You know, I can't, I got to wait till I get paid. You know, it's not fun struggling. It's not fun. Nobody happy. When you can't pay your bills, when they got an eviction letter on your door, when they just repoed your car, when you ain't got nothing and all your bills is due and you can't pay your bills, ain't nobody happy. How you gonna be happy and you can't even survive, right? You looking for a place to stay now, right? So you can never be happy. So of course y'all gonna break up because he mad, you mad, both of y'all mad because the lights is off. The lights is off. Both y'all sitting at the sitting in the dark, looking at each other. You know, so do not date no broke man. Get you a guy that got some money, is financially stable, can provide, and then you ain't gotta worry about no bills. You as a woman, it's not your job to worry about no bills. You should let that man be able to pay for everything, or at least majority of the bills and everything and then you know you contribute a little bit or nothing at all and then you can have the soft life and you got a man that's a provider and now you can spend more time taking care of other things and you don't have to too much worry about bills right so you can contribute to the relationship in other ways outside of financially right so ladies i hope you enjoyed this video those are my top five reasons why you should never date a broke man in your life. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.